Here's a GRE algebra question. Let's take a look. Which of the following is equivalent to 4a squared minus 4ab plus b squared all over 2a minus b? All right. Now, let me just say you could solve this problem algebraically. And if you know how to factor and cancel and all that, have fun with it. Maybe you don't need to watch this video. But what I want to highlight here is another way to do this problem, one that will serve you very, very well on the GRE. Let's start by pointing out that this is a vague expression. What do I mean by that? I mean, these are variables. They, they could be anything. We don't know. But the answer options are also vague. And what that means is that we should be able to plug in numbers for A and B, get some answer here, and then plug those same numbers into these and get the same answer. Whichever one gives us the same answer is the winner. Let me show you what I mean. I'm just going to pretend for a minute that A equals 1 and B equals 1. What happens when I plug in 1 for A and B? Well, I get 4 times 1 squared, that's 4, minus 4 times 1, 4. Would you look at that? Those cancel out. Okay, so B squared is 1 squared, that's 1. And on the bottom, I get 2 times 1 minus 1. So when these values equal 1 and 1, the whole thing equals 1. Let's plug these same values into the answer options and see if any one of them gives us 1. 2 times 1 times 1 is 2. That's not equal to 1. 2 times 1 minus 1, oh, would you look at that? That one works. Let's try these other ones. 2 times 1 plus 1, 3. No, thank you. 4 times 1 minus 2 times 1 is 2. Still no dice. 4 times 1 times 1, 4. Only one of them works. For more GRE tips and tricks or to sign up for my online course, follow the link on my profile.